A single mother and her son are left to move on after fire rips through their Loxahatchee home. It will not be easy. It didn't take Bryce Sabinson long to realize something was wrong in his bedroom late Thursday night. I was just sitting in my chair and I started to feel a little bit of heat behind me and I, I noticed that there was sparking coming from the wire. He and his mother had seconds to spare. And he ran in all the way to the other side of the house and, and said, Mom, get up, get up. The house is on fire and I mean, it took off. When firefighters arrived in the 5400 block of Avocado Boulevard, it was very little they could do. The fire spread quickly from one room to the next. This is the aftermath. The smoke, the flames destroyed nearly everything in its path. These folks have no money, no insurance, no mortgage, truly no family to assist them, no support resources. Steel shutters were up on part of the home and kept firefighters from getting in quicker. All five of their birds died in the blaze. They only had time to grab their dogs. This is sugar and that's sassy. Luis Garcia is a retired firefighter who works for a restoration company. Since they didn't have insurance, it was no reason for him to stick around. But something touched his heart after he found the mother and son sleeping in their van. Once I noticed her son didn't have shoes and I asked why he didn't have shoes, they said it burnt up. I gave him shoes. Garcia had an extra pair of shoes in his car and handed them over. It was really good because I have blisters on my feet from some members. So walking out of those would be pretty bad. Bryce will graduate from Seminole Ridge High School next month. He enlisted in the U.S. Marine Corps and will leave in August. But for now, he and his mom need to find a temporary home. They need clothes and all the things to start all over again. I'm just getting through it. I mean, it's nothing you can do. Yeah, I just deal with it. A lot of prayers and a little money. If you'd like to help, they've set up an account at Wells Fargo Bank. It's called the Brenda and Bryce Fire Victims Fund. Officials say the home is salvageable, but since they do not have insurance, it will be a long road. In Loxahatchee, Ted White, WPBF 25 News.